So, what is a slippery slope? In logic and critical thinking, a slippery slope is a logical device, but is usually known in its fallacious form, in which a person must assert that some event must inevitably follow from another without any rational argument or demonstrable mechanism for the inevitability of the event in question. So, apparently, people were saying, and they were making the slippery slope, that with Bruce Jenner coming out as a transgendered woman, that a whole bunch of other trans issues will come out. A lot of people were being sarcastic about it. People were going to start saying, you can be trans nigger, I'm, I'm sorry, trans black, and you can be trans Caucasian, and trans white, and, 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 and all of that. And of course, you would dismiss that. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, that's a logical fallacy. It's a slippery slope. I mean, just because someone says that they were born a woman in a man's body, it doesn't mean someone's going to say that you can be black, you know, even though you're both your parents and you're white or anything like that. Except, however, we have ridden the slippery slope because there are people who are saying that they were born the wrong race. Now, it is true. I have already recorded footage for my video on Bruce Jenner and transgendered people. And so I'm going to upload that right after I upload this video because I'm not retaking that video again to update it. So that being said, uh, I'm going to save all my thoughts on transgendered people for that video. That's a, another thing. I mean, like The thing with being transgendered, that is a topic that should be discussed, okay? That should be chatted about because there could be a lot of elements that go into that. It's Maybe it's not, maybe it's not what it seems. Maybe we can talk about that. That is something to be chatted about. Trans, race, trans, black, no, no. There, there is nothing to be discussed. There is nothing to legitimize. There is nothing to take seriously with these scenarios, nothing at all. The only thing these people are worthy of is laughter. Because that's what you do. That is the appropriate response to when you hear something absurd. You cannot be born the wrong race, okay? You can't do it. You can't fucking do it. Wanna know how I know that? Let's, let's play this out logically, shall we? A lot of your behavior is actually based off of your environment and the people you're around and the things you see in your parents. It has absolutely nothing to do with the amount of melatonin in your skin. Nothing to do with how angular your nose is or if your eyes slant. Nothing to do with that at all. It has everything to do with your environment. These people who claim that they were born the wrong race all talk about stereotypical behaviors they exhibit that are like the race they believe they were born in. Apparently, being trans black is very appropriate. I don't understand what is with white people and wanting to be black. I don't understand that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I mean, just be a white person. I'm not saying being white is better. It's, it's pretty neutral, I'm just saying. I mean, just, just be a white person. I mean, I like being a black person, don't get me wrong. I mean, I get to use the word nigga without people jumping down my throat, but that's kind of the only privilege I have. Aside from that, the point that I'm making is that the whole trans race thing is all based on racial stereotypes. You say you were born in the wrong race because you identify with these type of stereotypes then more than you do the other. You know, going through my whole life, I was called an Oreo, right? Well, all the way like in, in early high school and middle school, I was called an Oreo. Seeing I was black on the outside and white on the inside. And I always thought that, that was an incredibly stupid insult. Because Oreos are fucking sandwich cookies. Like they're white in between, not white on the inside. Stupid idiots. Anyway, apparently it looks like all those years ago, these people knew what they were talking about. It turns out I was actually a white person this whole time, and I'm just, I was born in the wrong body. I don't know why I have all this melatonin in me. It may have nothing to do with the genetic encoding of my mother and my father. Nope, nope, nope. I was born in the wrong body. Newsflash. You can't be born the wrong race. Can't fucking do it. Especially not if your whole argument on you being born the wrong race is that you feel like you're in the wrong race, or you identify as another race, or if you have stereotypical behaviors that are in another race. Newsflash, but um, that's racist. Just saying. So that being said, 
Again, we've written down the slippery slope. The interesting thing about, like I, as I just said before, the whole, you know, transracial thing is all based on stereotypes. And again, let me explain this one to you. Your behavior is based off the environment that you're in. I, I am willing to put money on this. If you have a white, a white child, right, and you raise him in the projects, okay, there's no way in his genetic encoding that's going to make him stand up properly, you know, speak an English accent, get a toy, and you know, you want to wear a suit and everything, and go to Oxford, and speak properly, and speak with English accent. It's not going to be fucking there, right? He's going to address with the environment that he's in. He's not trans nigger, he's just a product of his environment. And he has every choice and decision to be different than any stereotype that he's seen. If I have a black kid, right, and I raise him in China, right, he's not gonna walk around saying, yo, man, bro, what's up, dog, man, how you doing, bro, what's going on, man, dog, man, yo, man, shit, bro, like, no. He's gonna grow up speaking fucking Mandarin because he's in China and that's the language they speak. It's all about the environment that you're in. It's nothing to do with the color of your skin. If I take an Australian person, a person who's born in Australia, and I put them in fucking Canada, they're gonna grow up to be a fucking Canadian. It's nothing to do with their skin color everything to do with their environment. That's why I can't be born in the wrong race. Because there are genetic differences between the races that separate us. A lot of white people have a lot more angular noses than most Africans or African American people. It's a fact. You just look up pictures of white people and you notice a lot of white people's noses are more angular and a lot of black people's noses are either wider or you know, a little bigger. It's it's a fact. That's that. That's just the way it is. I mean, I look. Listen, I didn't make up reality. I'm just the don't don't shoot the messenger. Okay, I'm just telling you guys what reality is like. So the whole thing is an incredibly foolish concept in its entirety. Transgender is something that can at least be tackled. At least can be a topic to be discussed. At least we can talk about that. Even if you agree or disagree, there might be something there. But not with this whole trans race thing. Again, this is down to your genetic encoding. Unless you're going to start talking about metaphysical souls and you were reincarnated incorrectly, sorry, you don't have any water here. Your race is in your genetic encoding. How you present yourself is in your environment and in your parents and in the media you consume. More so for women when it comes to the whole media thing. I'll have to talk about that in an entire video because that's an interesting topic. But let's keep riding down the slippery slope, because I'm not done yet. Let's talk about other kin. Let's talk about people who think that they are animals in the wrong body. This has been going on for a couple of years now, right? And it should be held in the same response. Laughter. Because that's the appropriate response when you hear something absurd. That you are a mother-sucking fox in a human's body. How do you even know you're a fox in a human's body? You could be a badger mole for all you know. How do you even know that? It's BS. Sorry. How do you even know how a dragon feels like? What kind of insane type of idea is that? You are a dragon born in a human's body. Well, where did that dragon spirit even come from, mother sucker? Now, maybe if you were Chinese, I, I would at least give you some water there, you know. If you were born in the year of the dragon, maybe I can get how you'd say that. But I'd still say you're on some other shit. You need to become a drug seller because you're selling some grade A type of shit. That you are, you're on some other stuff, man. You need to go start, you know, modernize that shit and start spreading it. Because that's some awesome stuff you're smoking. If you think that you're a goddamn animal born in the wrong body. But then let's keep riding that slippery slope because we're not done yet. Because now there are people on Tumblr. <laughs> there are people on Tumblr. <laughs> I'm out of character right now. <laughs> there are people on Tumblr who think that they are fictional characters. <laughs> they think that they are fictional characters. They call themselves fictokin. They think they are fictional characters. They think they're characters that aren't real. There are people who think that they're fucking Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I, it's, it's gotten to that point that people are actually saying that they are characters from a fictional universe. I mean, 
mean, I don't even understand how you think that. I mean, like, I mean, are you, you fucking Nazi drag needle from fairy tale? I mean, you just, kind of, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> can't even, I can't even, I can't. I even do it. I was gonna do. I was gonna do the roar of the fire dragon from Fairy Tale, but I can't do it. Oh, shit! You fucking idiot, Yasha. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wind scar. Like, I knew I was Son Goku when I did my first Kamehameha wave. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I was like, Kamehameha. I saw. I can't even. It was like I knew I was Goku when I did the KOK. I can't even right now. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, oh, Jesus. It's like, you know what? You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. There might be something to the whole transgender thing and the whole trans race thing. Because this whole slippery slope has turned me into a young teenage white girl because I can't even right now. <laughs> Man, so with that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comments below. And as always, have yourself a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.